Hey guys, enter the stars. And please join us tonight for the live hangout on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And also right after that with Real Talk Live. But I wanted to bring you guys on here briefly and talk a little bit about Saturnalia and the I.O. Now, I.O. was the salutation talked about during the Saturnalia Festival. They would scream out I.O. And it says here, even in the Greek, it is I and an O. It is pronounced with two syllables. So I.O. or Yo, which then over the years became Ho, 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 which is what Santa Claus says. Now, here's what's interesting. Because when you look at the North Pole of Saturn, it resembles the I and the O. The I and the O. And in fact, this I and O is actually the symbol for Baal. In this article about Saturnalia, they actually compare Saturn to Baal. And in fact, they say that Baal is in fact the counterpart of the Roman Saturn and Greek Cronus. So they're admitting it right here. Now, why are we talking about this? We're talking about this because the I and the O of Saturnalia, which was celebrated as far back as 450 BC, occurred 2,000 years before the rings of Saturn were even discovered by Galileo in 1610. This is why you cannot trust what you are told in the history books. This is why you must think for yourself. Use lateral thinking, critical thinking to find the truth. Do not simply accept what you are told while demonizing and criticizing others who choose to think for themselves. Because nothing of what you think might be real is necessarily real unless you check it for yourself. And here it is in black and white. Saturnalia, the I.O. linked to Baal and the salutation I.O. and the Baal symbol I.O. Baal linked to Saturn, of course. And then finally, the discovery of the ring is not even in made until 2,000 years later. You see, the Temple of Saturn predates 497 BCE. Predates it. It even says here that it had been the location of a very ancient altar even before the building of the first temple in 497 BCE. Be. And the rings of Saturn are prominent in the festivities of Saturnalia, where all of the feet were bound with wool. And at the temple of Saturn, the legs were covered with bands of wool, ringing around the feet and arms, just like Santa Claus. Now, as we explained earlier, Saturn was also synonymous with Baal. Baal Hamon, which, which was the god of weather. He was also the god of Baal Karnam, the lord of two horns. He was synonymous with this. And it says here his Roman equivalent was Saturn. So, the god of the air with two horns. The Carthaginians burned their children as offerings to Baal. Just as it says in the Bible, Do not sacrifice your children to Moloch in the fire. So, they're actually even making Baal synonymous with Moloch, which is everything that we've been talking about. So, someone is not telling us the truth about space discoveries, or better yet, space exploration. Now, tonight, 
at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, just a few hours before Real Talk Live. We will be decoding the Fresh Prince of Bail, the Fresh Prince of Bail Air, and we're going to demonstrate to you how he fits in to Bail and Saturn. This is from a Parents Just Don't Understand video, which was duplicated. Its format was duplicated for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air introduction to the show. And in this, you see Saturn. We're also going to show you tonight Saturn in the introduction to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We're also going to look at Hip Hop, which is I O. Again, all the other letters. Stay the same except for the I and the O. Saturn, I, O. All of this we'll be covering tonight. Some of it, the discussion may spill over into Real Talk Live. Much love to you guys. Take care and be safe.